very stout defensive teams here, Steve. Points are going to be hard to come by. Yeah, you're going to have to find a way to get some easy buckets. But both these teams, they take away your first and second options. Little things like offensive rebounds, second chance points might make the difference. They make you pay, though, don't they? Huh? Yes, indeed. Buyer beware or driver beware. <laughs> Looking at the starting five for the Atlanta Hawks. Shooter runs the point with Corver to his side. Bazemore is the three with Millsap the four. And it's Howard in at the center filling out the middle. Gibson setting the pick for Rondo. He dishes it to Lopez. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. And that soft touch of Lopez makes things easy for him down there. Shooter kicks to Millsap. Bazemore with it. There's the feed to Howard. It's all in by the Bulls. See, when you're going into the teeth of the defense, you have to go harder. Soft lay in, won't cut it. Rondo kicks to Lopez. Wade passes to Butler. Just five to shoot. Charity strike shot. A putback. Here's Gibson. And last season, Dodge Gibson dealing with his name being on the trading block for a good portion of the time. Steve seemed like it was finally his chance to break out and put up big numbers, too. Well, you see Todd Gibson's ability to play above the rim. Defensively, he is solid. You were waiting for his offensive game to catch up to everything. He's not there yet, but he's one of those guys that's a terrific contributor on the team, and you got to have him. There's a screen. Back to Schroeder. Latrey. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Bulls have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Dishes it to Rondo. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And when Rondo is dropping in the mid-range shots, it really opens up the floor for everyone else. Schroeder kicks to Millsap. The dish now to Howard. And no good. Good D by Lopez. Bulls have gone two for four from the field so far today. Right side, Butler. 14 feet away. That one wide left. All alone inside. He's just going to have to shake that one off. Tips it up, and it's Millsap with the extra effort. Millsap's got his first bucket of the night. Yeah, and that's a pure hustle play, getting to the offensive glass for the tip. -in. And that's the kind of quality you see in any strong offensive rebounder, isn't it? The Hawks trail by four. They've been looking out of sync offensively. And they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Corver kicks to Millsap. High post, Howard. Now here's Schroeder. The three. And out of bounds as the Bulls gain possession. Each important point along the way. You know, he's a self-made player. And if Butler can stay healthy, boy, the sky's the limit. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? Not much room to operate offensively. The defense has been stifling through the first. And they really are just giving them no breathing room out there. They have completely flustered them and set the pace of this game in their favor. A chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the Bulls, McDermott and Miritich, the sharpshooting forwards. Grant is out there with Valentine. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Good work there as it goes. Steve, you've covered the league and been involved as a player for so long. Just how good are modern coaches? And, you know, an extension to that, who is your pick for being the best coach right now in pro basketball? Well, I think it's still Greg Popovich. He's done just a fabulous job being able to change styles, bringing in new players, also having guys who were number one option, getting them to buy in, to come off the bench sometime, play lesser minutes. And then you have a guy like Steve Kerr, and then also one of my all-time favorites is Doc Rivers, just a guy who has a great feel for players and people. The coaches today have so much more at their fingertips in terms of tape and analytics than the coaches of even just 15 and 20 years ago. 
Is it hard to compare the two groups? Yeah, it is. I mean, like you said, because there's so much involved now. And then a lot of these coaches are wearing two hats. I mean, they're the president or GM, also coaching. So they're doing totally different jobs than the coaches back in the day. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, as always, the Atlanta Hawks run that fluid offensive system that is widely admired. You know, Steve Kerr, our old friend, used to say they get to the next level of their offense, take away the first option, they automatically get to the second. They take that one, they automatically and fluently get to the third option. And very few teams do that. Kevin? Passing and shooting, D.A., that's what it's all about. Thank you. Yeah, you can tell that pass just hung in the air for a long time. That was a risky pass.